<laughs> Prepare to be upset. <laughs> yeah. There you go. All good. So, hi, it's Mark Bossert from Top Local Lead Generation. We're here with Paul Toffoli from Toffoli.ca, Toffoli Realty in Vancouver. And today we're going to be doing something that I'm sure everyone in Vancouver always is asking. Why are properties in Vancouver so expensive? How you doing, Paul? I'm great, Mark. Uh, having a good day. It's sunny outside. Yeah, Enjoy I'm sweating. Life. So <laughs> it's it's definitely warm. Uh, so what's the deal? What's how come it's so expensive in Vancouver? You know, it's it's that's been a kind of I mean, I was born in Vancouver, and I think. Uh, that was 47 years ago, and I think since the before I was born, people have been asking that same question: Why is real estate uh, in Vancouver so expensive? Um, and and I think there's some historical reasons for that. Uh, there's also some some new reasons for that. Uh, but I'll run through sort of uh, um, what I what what I think are some of the reasons, and what some of the experts and pundits have been saying. And, and at the end of the day, maybe there's no real rationale behind it. But I'll tell you what, uh, what, uh, what I think the main reasons are. Uh, first of all, historically, uh, part of the expl explanation has always been that we're landlocked. So we've got the U.S. border to the south. We've got the mountains to the north. We've got the ocean to the west. Uh, we've got a little pocket of land uh, that, that people can live on. In addition, as we go into the Fraser Valley, we also have the Agricultural Land Reserve, which has taken some other land out of the, uh, out of the buildable areas. And municipalities, uh, particularly in the city of Vancouver, set zoning guidelines and, zo and zoning bylaws that, um, that restrict what can be built where. Uh, those things combined have restricted the number of uh, housing options for people. Now, that being said, um, there's lots of housing here. There's lots of big buildings. There's lots of homes. Why is it so much more expensive here than elsewhere in North America? I mean, we are historically, and we are now for sure, one of the most expensive places to live in North America, particularly in the city of Vancouver proper, proper but also as you get into the suburban areas, into the rest of Greater Vancouver, we are also more expensive. Um, and at the end of the day, housing is a, is a bit of a commodity, and housing prices are driven by supply and demand. And lots of people love living in Vancouver, and for the last 10 years and projected into the future, we've had 40 to 50,000 people a year moving to the province of British Columbia, some years more than that. Uh, and the bulk of those people are moving into the lower mainland and the closer you get to the downtown core, the closer you get to the epicenter of activity in the lower mainland, the higher housing prices are. Now, municipalities have tried to, uh, to mitigate that by giving different housing uh, opportunities, you know, building smaller condos, building townhomes, building more multifamily so that you don't just have this single family um, which would which, which is uh, highly desirable but highly expensive um, but people still keep on moving here and still keep on buying um, and interestingly you know the demographics of the groups that have moved to, are, start, are moving the lower, lower mainland have changed significantly in the last 10 years so not only do we have the um, working class and middle class uh, professionals that have traditionally moved uh, to the province um, to provide for their families. Uh, but we've also got some really high net worth uh, individuals and groups uh, that are coming and taking wealth from other parts of the world and enjoying the lower mainland and Canada generally as a safe place to, um, to park their wealth and they find that real estate is a very safe and desirable place to put their money because it's concrete, something they understand. So that, that's it in a nutshell. It's, it's uh, a bunch of reasons. Now, the question is, is it sustainable? That's the big question that my clients always ask me. Is the uh, cost of real estate in the lower mainland sustainable? And the short answer is 
that really we don't know, and particularly in a short-term basis, you know, there will be corrections. It's going to happen. Historically, we've had corrections in the housing market in the Lower Mainland. The last one we had was uh, 2009 when there was a worldwide uh, housing correction and the market went down sharply. It recovered in 6 to 12 months. It was, it was a shock to me. I was expecting it to stay low for a longer period of time. We will have real estate prices dropping. They will recover. So what I tell my clients is, you know, if you're buying and planning on selling in a year or two years, there's no guarantees. We don't know what's going to happen. Real estate prices have been fairly flat, inching up, but they've been fairly flat for the past couple of years. But if you're thinking 5 to 10 to 15 to 20 years out, the likelihood is that real estate in Vancouver will be more expensive than it is now. And for some people, that's great. If you're already in the market, for those who aren't in the market yet, that can be a bit intimidating. So I guess in some ways it's, it's like, hey, it's a really nice place to live. Um, you know, you got the ocean, the mountains, uh, a really good winter climate, compare, certainly compared to the rest of Canada, or a big part of the rest of Canada. And so, and it's, uh, we also have a lot of people moving in from other countries, in the, in the east especially. And uh, like you said, supply and demand, it's a really nice place, so it's in demand. And like you started with, there isn't any more land. I mean, it's not like there's a volcano growing more, <laughs> more, and more, more and more land base. Yeah, and and I think you know, I mean, one of the one of the things is that, I mean, I always look at it and say, well, there's there's land, but in the city of Vancouver, you're not getting any more single family land. It's not happening. So, and that single family supply is actually shrinking as zoning changes and multifamily is built. So you've got town single family homes going away and town homes and, and condos being built. And you know what? They can always go higher. They have been going higher. Different areas are going to be zoned. So I think there will be, that is what's keeping it somewhat affordable is that they're building new supply. Um, the challenge is there's not a lot of supply for single family. We're, you know, municipalities are trying to redu reduce that urban sprawl, and that's been a sustainability uh, that's been going on. The livable city, the livable region, or livable cities plan that started in the, uh, I guess, the late 70s, early 80s, uh, was a big part of that. Um, but they're not growing any more land. Um, we're a really great place to live. We're a safe place to live. I mean, I know many of the people out there have traveled. I've I've traveled in Asia. I've traveled in Europe. I've been in some areas uh, of the world there ex there's extreme poverty uh, compared to what we have here. We are damn lucky that we live in a safe, comfortable, beautiful part of the world. And guess what? A lot of people from the other parts of the uh, from the rest of the world would like to live here too. And people from across Canada. Uh, it's a great place to live. Um, you know, there's other pla great places to live, but we're we're blessed. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I guess that's pretty simple, really. Um, really appreciate that, Paul. Again, that's, that's we've been talking with Paul Tofoli from uh, Tofoli Real Estate. Tofoli.ca is where you can reach him. You can call him. He's a good guy to talk to. He really knows his stuff. 604-787-6963. Thanks a lot, Paul. Thanks, Mark.